Good morning, guys, and happy Tuesday. Um, it's like 11.34, so I guess you can still call it morning, but I don't really know. I slept till 10.30 because I have nothing else I need to really be doing. <laughs> and um, Glenn actually finished um, detailing the little side table that we were working with last week. Or over the weekend, I guess. I don't know if you can really tell. We have to still wax it, but that's what it's looking like right now. And we're also making chicken soup. Um, so Glenn just boiled a whole chicken and then added in, what, carrot, celery, onion, and some dill, and, and, parsley. and parsley. And then, um, obviously, you guys know I'm gluten-free, so I am making quinoa and then it's hot. Ow, that was hot. <laughs> um, so here's the Instapot. Um, we're not pros. We like barely use it because we just don't know how to use it. Because I don't know why. We just haven't taken the time to. Okay. We're getting there. Um, but the quinoa in it is like literally the easiest thing. Um, so I just took a cup of quinoa and I rinsed it and drained it and then I put it into the Instapot and um, it's cooking now. And Glenn's making matzo balls for her and my dad because they can eat that kind of stuff. And then we'll just like separate the, the matzo balls and the quinoa obviously and not like mix it in the soup. Um, so we're gonna pull the, like shred the chicken to add to the soup, just so you don't have like a whole chicken in the soup, obviously. So here's the final product. Um, I put my quinoa in and then I added my soup and yeah, ooh, it steamed up the lens. <laughs> so. So I'm trying to take some quick clips because my battery is dying, but I have a bench in my room and I just have so much stuff under it. Um, that's my work bag. Then I have computer chargers. I have more computer stuff in there and then like old stuff and lights. So I'm going to try to organize all of that stuff. And I have like all dolls that we were going through that I need to like repack and stuff like that. Um, so basically I have like my camera box, my Google home box and my external hard drive and I just put it in here. I can't put the lid back on, but at least it's like organized. So if I put it back under my bed, it's not like a problem. Honestly, even better, I found this huge box. Um, I can't tell if you can tell how big it is, but it's big, it's deep. So I can actually put like all that stuff in it and close it. So that's gonna be amazing. So this is literally a mess, but I thought there was like actual important things in there. And it was just all like papers from last year at school. Uh, my other laptop is in there, so I should pull that out and charge it. And then, I don't know if you people, like, keep cards, but I have cards. And then I have, like, textbooks that I probably will never use, so I should try to sell them, maybe. And, like, bubbles and books. This big box was actually perfect because I put in, like, my Bose thing, like, all of my boxes that I don't want to get rid of. So I'm just going to put that under my bed, and it's perfect. I also found an Amazon bag that had all these scrunchies last year for my little's birthday. We ordered like a 60 pack of scrunchies and me, my little, my little, little, and my littlest all split them. And somehow I have all of these still. So I'm going to put them in a jar and like put it in the bathroom. Um, so that's how that looks. I'm pretty happy with it. Before this whole thing started, I had wanted to get another, like one of those white ones or maybe two to fit under there just so it was uniform. But for right now it kind of works. Um, all of my stuff fits. So that's perfect. So the muffins are cooled and I'm about to have one. And I've also been picking my face. Wow. Um, look at my face. I don't know. I think the other one's just a pimple. Um, but now we're going through recipes. So we're getting rid of a ton of cookbooks that we just don't use. But um, if there's like recipes that we use in them, we're just putting them onto a Google Drive. And um, this is kind of what we're doing. And then there's like a binder of stuff here. We have two binders of like recipes that I'm just adding onto Google Drive. Hey guys, what's up? And um Happy Wednesday. That took me a while to figure it out. I'm hanging out on my computer. I decided to make a cup of tea and just kind of chill for a little bit. Um, it's 11.43. I can't pretend that it's like early morning or anything like that. Also, I actually want to talk about the videos I've been doing. I've been doing the Mad 
fit like her videos on her channel and she's been really good i know everyone's doing like the chloe tang um take tang um two week ab challenge or whatever and i haven't tried it but i found mad fit i think um vivian audi had posted her because she like posts um like her daily like routines on instagram and i'm pretty sure she posted a video and it was one of the mad fit videos and then i honestly haven't stopped doing them um and i think i've actually done them all of april so that's pretty hype um i actually am noticing a difference in my body and like the way i feel which is pretty good um it's nice because there's like 30 minute ones 15 minute ones 12 minute ones she has like songs i think i've said that before i haven't done any of those but um most of the time i've just been doing the hit workouts and then um if i do like a 20 minute workout um i'll add like another 10 minute ab session she's like back and buys and like all stuff like that um and they're really good i can't say anything bad about it if anything it's made me work out more because i feel like it's more of a routine than me having to like be like oh let me go on a run today or let me try to figure out a video i know if i just go to her channel there's like a ton of videos um so yeah i've been really enjoying it and it's honestly almost may so um it's been good to have like a really solid routine uh especially because everything's like so crazy right now um and i do have to say like i'm not getting ready every day i know people are like trying to put on workout clothing but for me what i've realized is that if i just put on like regular clothing as day goes on i'll just like when it's I, usually i like drink coffee at like two I drink coffee for like a really long time. I don't like rush and drink it. So I finish it either at like 4 or 4.30 and that's when I go work out and I just stay in kind of what I had on. Like I'm wearing a sweatshirt right now so I'd probably take the sweatshirt off and just wear a t-shirt but I'll wear like my sweatpants and whatever. And um, my mom and I have also been going on walks which I think you guys have seen. And um, those have been really good too because it's a little more cardio but it's not like running and we can chat. And whatever so i've been really liking that so i guess if you're looking for a routine definitely try her videos out if you haven't um they're great so i think i'm gonna drink some orange juice um we got it for a recipe we made a I, not me my mom made a cuban pork in the crock pot the other night and it had orange juice in it so i said if you guys get like the mini cartons of it i'll drink it so we have some so i think i'm gonna put it in like a nice cup of ice and use one of my straws and just kind of sip on that i've just been watching youtube um yeah i watched uh brooke Muccio's like her mom's day in a life it was so good not that they're ever gonna see this but it was really cute um so yeah i'm gonna drink some orange juice and just watch some more youtube videos i low-key started outer banks the other night but for like a minute and um i kind of thought it was funny like okay it wasn't funny but i grew up in north carolina and um we used to go to the outer banks like for day trips and stuff like that and when i was like seven eight my best friend growing up her um parents rented a house for like a week at figure eight island and it was like literally the best trip ever and i always talk about the trip and it was so much fun and so when i saw everyone was watching the show i was like oh my god i used to go to the outer banks but i was kind of thinking more of like kitty hawk and like that stuff because i feel like those are the known places question mark but um i like clicked in i'm like oh my god it's so pretty there and i mean people might if anyone's watching this i'm probably gonna say it wrong because i really watched like the first three minutes um they're they're called the the cooks the kooks question mark are the people and they literally shout out figure eight island like instantly they were like yeah they're all from figure eight island so like within two minutes of watching the show i guess i'm a kook cook question mark but i actually do really want to sit and watch it um so maybe i'll do that after i finish some youtube videos but yeah i just thought it was funny because um i had gone there like one time not that any of us had a house there but we did go there one time and it was so much fun <laughs> Okay, do any of you people ever use your crushed ice, <laughs> like, option at your houses? Because, um, I just try to, and it literally always makes such a mess. Um, like, it's all over the floor, but I really like crushed ice. So, um, basically I just filled this guy with some crushed ice, and then I'm just gonna pour the orange juice over it, 
and I don't know, I think orange juice just hits better with ice. That's just me though. I'm not a big like, if I drink water, I usually don't put ice in it because I don't love refrigerated like ice. Even if like my iced coffee, um, what I've been doing is just having my dad make coffee in the morning and then um, he'll pour me a cup and just put it in the fridge because something about home ice, I don't know. I feel like this is like a known thing though. That's just not as good. Um, at work, when I was working, they had like a machine and it had ice and water and it gave like the pellet ice and that's like the superior ice by far. Um, and I know my grandparents have a pellet ice machine at their house that they sometimes use, but not always. And it's just better, I don't know. So I crushed some ice, I didn't crush it, the machine crushed the ice and I'm gonna use that. Oh, my dad's calling me, gotta go. Also, shout out to my dad because um, he's been going to the grocery store and getting food for us. Like I haven't left the house, I think you guys know. I went to Starbucks like last week, but um, that was it. And um, the bread that I like is like the Food for Life, one that everyone probably talks about. Um, I actually grew up eating it. We had friends when I was little that were celiac and I used to go to their houses and, um, not their houses, their house. And we were on the swim team together and I always would say to my mom, oh my God, they have the best bread. Like their sandwiches are so much better than ours. And it was literally this, um, bread. So then when I got diagnosed with celiac, I like was looking for it because I knew exactly what it tasted like and I found it, but, um, it's really hard to find right now. And I've been making the bagels, as you guys have seen, and everything. And um, I had some of the English muffins from Fruit for Life, but I finished them. And today I just finished the bread. So there's um, this place called Dean's Organic Market um, in like the town over from us. And so my dad's gonna go there and see if he can find the bread. So he had gone to look at soil because we're doing like the out thing, outdoor thing. And he said they have like a total we like contact list like you just talk through a thing so he like talked to the guy about that and then he like swung back here to get my discount card for Dean's so yeah you guys probably don't care about that at all but if you um, haven't tried the bread definitely try it it's really good um, I know everyone's just eating it because it's like a craze right now for it but their products are really good um, and if you have celiac like I'm a big fan I think it's better than like most of the breads out there I don't like any of them and I can't think of their names right now but I'm not a big fan of like the other ones. I just think the rice tastes better. Like I like the rice pasta better and I like the rice bread better, rice bread better. Yeah. Also, I feel like I've maybe told you guys about the fox. Ignore the holes in the yard, we're fixing them. Um, there was like cement there. I think I probably showed you guys that. But okay, so we have this fox. Not that he's ours, but look at him. Wow, that's actually really nice. This thing has a great zoom. Um. So, I don't know, he's just been in our yard, and, I mean, he's fine. It's very just, it's bizarre. Let me zoom all the way out. Wow, this thing has great zoom. Oh, is he gonna lay down? Oh, he's eating something. Oh my god, okay. He's eating, he has something in his mouth. Oh, he just walked away. Well, okay, so anyway, he's been in our yard um, for like maybe the past week we've noticed him and or her, question mark. There's like a development across the street and then there's like a nature preserve that cuts through it kind of thing. And there's also like we live near a swamp and so there's just like a ton of wildlife over here. And I, my theory is that he lives across the street in the development, but there's just like people outside all day now because everyone's home so that's probably why he's like here now but he's like harmless question mark he hasn't attacked any of us and we've been outside like every day my dad's been working outside and um he's fine like he hasn't gone near him and um glenn and i were walking last week and like we walk in our driveway as you guys know and um he was just like over across the yard in the bushes and laid there for like 15 minutes as we did laps. And both of us were kind of like, is he gonna attack us? But um, no, he didn't, at least that day. So we'll have to see. <laughs> of course, it's another baking <laughs> segment. Um, yesterday I was on Pinterest and there was a recipe for a ricotta cake. 
So I figured why not we have ricotta from when I made the cookies and we'll probably still have ricotta after this So we can make more cookies, but the cake sounded interesting. So um, it's an almond ricotta cake I can link the recipe. Hopefully it comes out. Well, um, we're doing Bob's Red Mill flour because you know, we have to um, sugar almonds salt ricotta butter that we're letting soften the eggs and then the almond extract which i think probably makes the whole thing and then um baking powder so we mini chopped the almonds and we creamed the butter and the sugar together and then we added the ricotta and now that's gonna mix for five minutes so that's what's going on in the background and our oven's preheated and next we're gonna add the eggs and the almond extract So Glenn is showing me how you pull it out from the middle because we put the powdered sugar at the bottom so you don't want to like pull it up, right? Mm-hmm. That's looking good. And this is the pan we're using. I don't think I showed you guys. It's like the spring foam. You make a cheesecake in this, wouldn't you? Mm-hmm. So that's what's up. I figured I would just add this to a vlog because it's not that much stuff. I feel like I've mentioned how I've been ordering some things from Amazon that I thought were going to be really good. And they actually have been. So um, I figured I'd just show you what they are. So I'll start with um, these, I guess. They're the CRZ Yoga Shorts. Um, they're honestly like a perfect dupe for the Lululemon ones. My only beef with them is that the built-in underwear was like horrible so i cut it out um but they're really good i also ordered a, ba a black pair of them and they should be here in like a couple weeks but um so far so good i didn't dry them when i washed them but they held up really nicely the only thing is this color is a little light so if you do sweat you kind of see it but beyond that it's like a perfect dupe for lululemon um then you guys have seen this probably a million times at this point because i can't stop wearing it but it's the Hanes like eco smart sweatshirt. I got it in a 2XL. It's literally huge. Um, and I just bleach dyed it. And this is mine. I gave my mom one or made my mom one, um, which kind of looks exactly the same. She did the same sizing and everything. Um, I will say it's like big obviously, but it's like nice cause it, um, it like hangs on your waist instead of bunching. So pretty happy about that. I'm like half a mind to get another one, but how many like bleach dyed things do I really need at the end of this quarantine? So maybe not, but I like it. I've washed a couple times. The quality is actually pretty good for like $9, $7, whatever it was. Um, these I actually found through Brooke Michio. 
Um, they're just the flathead silicone straws that came in this bag. Um, I have the stainless steel ones and I really like them, but my mom does not like them. I mean, I don't blame her. They're kind of scary because you could like crack a tooth. So I ordered these for her and they fit in the Yetis, how they have like the mag slide lid. They fit through that hole. Um, you can cut them. So they're pretty long. They came in the bag. They came with a cleaner, which is nice. And they came in a couple different colors. I'll show you guys the colors. I thought they were kind of cute. Some of them are in the dishwasher too. Um, you can dishwash them, which is hype because then you don't really have to worry about like cleaning the insides out. Most of the time we're just drinking like water through them or like iced tea or um, I drink my coffee through it. But I guess if you had like a smoothie, you'd probably want to clean it out with the, with the brush. But these are the colors. There's um, like a darker blue, a white, um, the purple. I don't even know. There's a pink and then the turquoisey kind of minty color um and they're good so far so good i think there was like 12 of them in this pack i know she had a couple different ones on her shop like her amazon shop i always go on that and um i don't know why i got these ones truthfully maybe there was 10 of them there was 12 of another one i don't know but when it said it was like it fit into yeti that was like the the selling point for me and then lastly this literally just got dropped off to my house um it's an apple watch band so it looks like this um nothing crazy i thought this color would be good um honestly i've been buying all of my watch bands off of amazon except for like this one this one came literally with the apple watch but i can't say anything bad about them i'm pretty hyped for this it's um a velcro so that'll be nice and i actually have two other ones from amazon i have this one which looks like the nike one it's like in a yellow color um it's really great it was like twelve dollars maybe this one was like eight dollars um and then i have this one and i used to wear this to work all the time it's just the metal mesh as you can see it's like super worn but i mean this one was like seven dollars too i can't really complain about them um they've held up really well i work out in them like all the time i'll have to let you guys know how this one holds up um, I'm pretty hyped though that it's fabric because I feel like I could probably throw it in the washing machine and wash it that way um, Because these guys just get so gross Because I wear them like to work out and the holes. I don't know something about it, but um, I'm excited to try this one out So I'll have to let you guys know how they do but um, I'll link all the stuff below definitely give the Amazon bands a try because a if you ruin it It's like eight dollars and um the apple ones are so much money like so much money people probably already know this hack but yeah so those are the things i've been really enjoying so far and i'll let you know when the black crz or craze yoga shorts come in here's the cake so we let it cool completely and i just put sliced almonds on it and then powdered sugar and yeah you can see the powdered sugar made a freaking mess but um, that's how it looks. So we're gonna cut it later on and give it a whirl. So we just had the cake um, I ate it and didn't take a picture of it, but it was really good um, We put it in the refrigerator. I don't have anything that I changed with it. We cooked it for like 53 minutes um, It was 45 to 55 minutes and 45 it was like not cooked and then by like 53 it was like done basically so um, definitely recommend if you guys like ricotta, I know you can make make it lemony and do whatever you want, but this was just kind of like almond flavored, which I think is the best. And yeah, so um, can't complain about that. So I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. We're gonna watch some TV. I don't really know what we're gonna watch because we're in between series and we don't feel like watching anything. So um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm gonna link all the Amazon stuff that I had said before in the description. And yeah, thanks for watching.